Yeah, I've kind of been at it again. I've got another wheelbarrow kind of sketched out here. It shows up better in camera than it does when you're just looking at it. So I thought I'd shoot a quick video of it. Hopefully it turns out okay. Uh, I don't know what kind of flower I'm going for, but hopefully it turns out all right. It's going to be mostly negative space. So the design that's here in the middle, all the way around, it'll be pretty much gone. Hopefully it keeps its rigidity, <laughs> or some of it at least. So yeah, I like it. The closer you get, the less detail. Yeah. Let's get busy. Yeah, we're making progress. Got the border, most of the border cut. And while I'm giving my neck a break from the helmet, I thought I'd point out a couple other pieces. This one I got done, eh, I've had it done for a couple weeks now. There is more coming on this one. This one's special. You can't see it for a while. Take the outside. So the shadow this one creates is pretty neat. This big pattern it makes. Get you all in one shot or not. Eh, kind of. I'm trying to find a background that we can see all the leaves on. Anyway, added some copper top and bottom. And then there's a steel rod behind that. And it is going to a house in Indianapolis. We'll be talking more about that. But I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I hid a couple things in it. I hid Yoda. And I hid 12 distinct hearts. Let me see if I can find one to point one out for you. There's one right there. I counted them as I cut them. There's one right here. And one above that. Because I knew I wouldn't be able to find them again. Anybody see Yoda's head yet? It's pretty obvious right now where it is. <laughs> I'm gonna point it out, you ready? I always hide something kind of fun in there. Here's another heart right there. So, been, uh, been pretty busy plasma cutting. This was a green, like a farm granary shoot, like half of a, half of a shoot. It has really good patina. Let's take it back inside so I'll show you, show you the patina. That shadow though, look at that. Crazy. Get it out of the sun, maybe we'll be able to see some of that really pretty red. There you go, you can kind of see it there. So all along where the leaf veins and things are is this really pretty red. I was su surprised at how much of it came back. Hopefully you can see that, okay. But yeah, this thing turned out pretty nice. Can't see it too well against the brick, can you? <laughs> All right, enough of that. Yeah, I'm still out cutting on this wheelbarrow, and this one is a lot more cutting than that last one I did. The last one I left my my spacing between my little meaningless cutouts, so the background portion, my, I left my spacing a lot bigger. I'll throw a picture in here of it, but yeah, this one's got a lot more cutting. After I get it all cut out, then I'll go pencil in the detail on the flowers and the leaves. Where did I draw it? Up here. And I'll cut that out to give it some detail. But I love the scallop across the edge up there. Definitely need to do more like that. It's a learning curve, you know? It's only the second wheelbarrow I've ever done. Definite learning curve. But we're getting there. I'm about, I would say, I'm over halfway once I get this part done for sure. I just went back with a soapstone and kind of traced over that a little darker. You know, the, the little things don't really matter much. Those were mainly just to give me a visual of where things were going to go. I'm not sticking real true to those lines, but I'm liking it. I'm really gonna like it because mostly it's gonna be negative space except for these kind of furnish leaves. 
and flowers in the center. Yeah, I, I dig it. I liked the last one too, but this one's definitely a more detail, lace-like look. Yeah, I like it. Hopefully I don't mess it up. So just going through and adding kind of all the detail where the flowers and leaves are. There's a flower I've added detail. There's not. And then I went, I think I've hit all the leaves. I might've missed a couple accidentally, but I just kind of went and put some lines to mimic veins in there. But I'm just going around now and finishing all the little flowers and hopefully we can get this thing done today. Can't see it as much. I've cut a few of them over here, but against the sun, it's better on this side. So yeah, I'll go ahead and finish all this up. And then I have thrown my rusty gold patina maker. It's just hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, and salt. And I have sprayed it on my wheelbarrow pieces. And they're looking pretty good now. The wheel looks much better than it did white. So I'm liking that. And we will do the same on any area that I'm going to right up on this to kind of give it that rusty look. The inside of the wheelbarrow is going to stay like it is. I love this green paint on here. I think it's really cool. And then I'm going to try to preserve all that I can on the back side of it. Keep the grinder out of it. This metal is super thin. For a wheelbarrow, it's really thin. I'm surprised that they manufactured it out of that. But it's easy to cut. It just makes a lot of... It's just messy. It makes a... I've got my plasma cutter set as low as it'll go, and it's still... Uh, needs to go a little bit lower. When you work with super thin metals, it, it wants to heat up quicker, obviously, so then the slag, it wants to melt and hang over the back. So I'm just trying to move a little faster. The faster you move, the less slag you get. So I'll finish this out and then we'll take a peek at it. So I've got it all cut. I brought it up here so that hopefully you can see the patina that's down on the leaves and petals. Got a real nice green to it. It still needs oil, then I need to get some different bolts. I don't like those hex heads. It needs carriage bolts like it did originally. I had to cut the ones that were on it originally, so I don't have them, and I am out. My rusty bolt pile has been depleted, but it looks pretty good. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. The shadow is killer. Shadow is probably the best part of it. But yeah, I'm. I'm very pleased with how this one, this one's better than the last one, I think. Let me stand it up for you. My fake rust did a really nice job on the arms. I'm going to spray it on the back too, where I ground some of those areas. But there she is. Wheelbarrow number two. I think originally there was like a hand grip, kind of like a bicycle hand grip. And I don't like that, so we'll put a carriage bolt cap. I think I've got some old, bigger ones. I just don't have any this size, but I think I got some big carriage bolts we can stick in as a cap and we'll just tack weld those on there. Got a patina on this one's killer. Love the patina. That's what my parents should have named me. <laughs> Patina. See it, oil, oil canning. So it is the same wheelbarrow as this one, and the handles were white also, and the tire was white, just like this one. But the arms are made just a little bit different. And this one has a brace. So I don't think it will be quite as flexible as this one. This one might have. There were bolt holes just holding the arms into the lower part. But there may have been something there that had rusted away. I don't know. But yeah, see it had like a hand grip. Bicycle hand grip on it. I don't like that at all. Let me go get one of those carriage bolts and we'll stick it. See if it sticks in the end. And I think that will work. I've got some of these. I think I have three or four of these left. My buddy restores old tractors and uh, farm machinery and equipment. 
and so he brings me all of his old rusty junk that he doesn't want. Oh yeah, that looks good. In fact, I might have some that are just a little bit smaller. That one's a little bit too big, I think. Yeah, maybe not. Looks a lot better than a hand drip, though. But it needs finished. Need to do something with it. So, kind of see the color in here, too. Once that's oiled, that color will really pop, too. I like that there's some variation in it. It's not all just green. It's good. It's a good wheelbarrow. Hope this one cuts as nice. I'm going to try cutting this one from the outside, though. I think. Uh, after you've leaned in cutting it, once you get down into the bowl, down into the tub part, it's kind of backbreaking. But the result is worth it. You can really see the shadow nice down here in the carport. Can't believe how precise the shadow is. The other one, it wasn't that precise. Smaller holes, maybe? I don't know. Kept some of the paint on the back, too. Yeah, that'll look okay. And then I just capped the end with like a carriage bolt, well, with a carriage bolt on the end. This wheelbarrow in the structure of how it's built is not actually as strong. The other one's super solid. This one's really weak. Plus I, I cut uh, more holes in this one. There's more metal I think left in this guy. I think I cut out more metal on the previous one, but it just seems to flex more. And I think the uh, metal in this one was a little bit thinner because it wanted to slag up really bad on the back. Yeah, I like the way it turned out. I kind of want to keep it for myself. Nah. Somebody will get to enjoy it. All right, to the gallery it goes. Maggie, what do you say? Over here. Maggie. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. There's my girl. There's my Maggie girl. There she is. Oh, Mag Mag. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. We build something else cool. I was walking out one evening late. The moon was rising high. Headed for the river's side. Around us fuss and fly. Patrol man, he walked by. Ask me where I'm going Said if the sun set on me there I'd never make it home He said don't go downtown tonight There's trouble on the rise The Batman in the shadows And the bound to take you life If you mind the ramp I'll tell you how I do Keep your money in your pocket Then the razor you shoot Silent through the creek, hounds to lose my sin. I went up a tree and I watched them turn, wondering where I went. I take a rest, I hold my breath, I let it simmer down. I climb too high in my wandering eye, spied the lights of town. Said, don't go downtown tonight, there's trouble on the rise. The Batman in the shadows, 
Oh, the bound to take your life But if you mind the ramble still I'll tell you how to do Keep your money in your pocket, boy And the razor 